morning everyone and welcome to Reflections today. Um, I was getting ready and I said to myself, hmm, we've had some really heavy stuff this week. Um, why don't we have something a little lighter today? And also because most of the time when I'm talking during the week, we really can't, we can't, um, I, I don't get to talk to you. I don't get to chat with you. So I said, okay, today let's spend some time chatting. I hope you won't mind if I take a little more of your time today, but I'm sure we'll have some fun together. Um, so I'll be talking and I'll also be doing what I usually do when I'm home, I'll be cooking. Um, and this morning I just want to make some akara, we call it akara. It's a, it's, a, it's a dish from the western part of Nigeria. Um, Yorubas love it a lot. Um, we, you can also call it a bean cake, a, a bean cake, but we call it akara. It's a light meal made from um, beans. Um, and. Um, my family loves it a lot. We, 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 anytime I make akara in the morning, the whole, everyone gathers around the table and they, they, they love it. Nobody is complaining because, of course, they can also have it with cornmeal ogi. And they can put plenty of sugar inside of it. That's the downside of, of akara in my home on, or any morning we make it. So here we go. Um, I'm going to start. So here is the beans. Uh, that's what it looks like. You can get it in any store. You can use the white beans, the, the, the brown beans. Uh, I think they also call it cowpea. Yeah, you can use it. So you go to the store, it's there. The beans, very healthy, um, very, very good, uh, wonderful, nutritious, well balanced meal. So you take some. Um, uh, sorry, I, I might not give you the right measurement, but if you really need to know, call me later and I'll show you. And you get some water and you soak it in water so that it can soften up. You can soak it in water for about um, 20 minutes, 20 to 40 minutes, depending on how, how hard that um, the beans is to get it nice and soft. Now, when you do that, so this is the beans, you put it inside some water just to soften it up. And then you, once you get it soft enough, um, some people. Um, wood, uh, after softening it up, they will peel off the skin. When you peel off the skin, when you peel off the skin, this is what it looks like. It's nice, it's nice, it's soft, um, but some people will leave the skin on because the skin also has its own nutrition, now value. So the modern way to do it Today, actually, people prefer to leave the skin on because then you get everything. You get all your nutrients from it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the blender. I'm going to put it in the blender. And don't worry, my hands are clean. Those of you who know me know I'm, very, I'm a stickler on cleanliness. I, I washed my hands before we started. Um, so... And also, we have onions. The onions are really good. I like to blend my own onions. I like to put my onion in and uh, blend it. Along with the beans. Uh, some people like to just chop the onion after the beans is blended. But I'm going to cut um, um, my onion and put it in. That's about, you know. And because I like spicy stuff, I'm going to put pepper in. If you don't like spice, don't try it. Don't put pepper in your stuff. You might not be able to enjoy your akara. I'm going to put more in so that we have a nice consistent consistent uh, when I blend it. If you don't eat egg, it's all right. You don't need to put egg. I like putting egg because it makes it, um, it makes it a little fluffy and also a little crisp on the outside when you finish frying it. So I'm going to put egg in mine. Um, it's, not, it's not compulsory. Really for this dish, what you need is you need the beans, 
you need some a little water to blend may I have a little cup of water and um, and you also need ah we mustn't forget the salt so I'm going to put some salt in there I'm just going to throw a very simple meal to make um, so usually I have my beans already done and put in the freezer so when I want to make this I just bring the beans out it's already peeled it's already nice and soft and so it's a meal that you can make quickly I'm going to put the uh, the frying pan on the stove because when I'm done you have to deep fry you have to deep fry the beans to make it really nice and um, and good for you to enjoy it again this is uh, from your Bilano welcoming you to reflections this morning for the last um for, since monday we've been talking about uh we've been talking about a few things going on i know a lot of us a lot of families are trained i dropped a little oil on the stove so i'm just going to wipe it off so that we don't have any things smoking in here so you have to wait for that oil to heat up a little uh, let, let it heat up a little and while it, that's going on I'm going to um, I'm going to blend the the, cup, uh, the the beans now you have to be careful that you don't put too much water in the beans uh, because if you do uh, it, it has to be very firm it has to have a firm consistency because if it's too watery it's just going to fall all over when you throw it in the hot oil so I'm going to uh, okay, I'll teach you a trick I usually use when, I'm, when I want to blend. I'm going to take some plastic wrap and put it over my, my, the cover. Because I'm a little lazy, I don't want the stuff to get into the corners of the cover of the blender and then I have to start scrubbing when it's time for me to wash off my stuff. So that's one, uh, one less chore to do when I'm cooking. So here we go. I just take the um, plastic wrap and I put it over the top of the blender. It's especially good, it's especially for us Africans when we blend all our, you know, the pepper and the rest of it. So when it's time for you to wash, you are not really spending too much time. You can just give it a quick wash and you'll be good instead of getting into the corners and crevices. So here we go. I'm going to blend. Uh, okay. What did we do? Are you kidding me? Okay, we are good. Let me turn this on so I can see the comments. your comments so I can answer your questions I hate waste um, so usually I just put a little water you have to be careful because if it gets too watery um, you are not going to be able to get a good akara uh, you know so I, I usually rinse it out but we'll leave all that for today um, and I'll show you what to do with that later but I hate waste. So usually when I make my akara, you don't see anything in the so you beat it a little. You need a little more salt. Your oil has to be nice and hot. I like beating my um, so, so that it comes out nice and fluffy. When I make akara, I don't like it um, all over my oil. I don't. I like it in nice, 
um, neat little balls. So there we go. And I think I have enough salt in there. Hmm. Nice. All right. So I take. Okay, I think I'm going to use a bigger spoon. And you have to be careful about the spoon you use to drop it into the um, the um, into the oil. I don't like it too. I like to have um, medium sized bowls because I like my akara coming out in nice ball like crisps. So here we go. And I, I, I usually take my time in dropping it in. The oil has to be nice and hot. Otherwise, your akara is just going to um, break all over the oil and I hate it when it does that. I like it coming out. Oh, I dropped that into the oil. Mm -hmm. I don't like all the little bits flowing in the oil when I'm making akara. So I do take my time. Do we have comments coming in? Okay, we do. All right then. While the akara is frying, I'm going to have time to handle your comments in a, in a minute. It's really easy to make with practice, you know, you get the hang of it. Don't be intimidated. Um, I know a lot of you know how to make akara, but I like my akara smooth all round. I don't like it with different, as much as possible, I want it to have a ball-like kind of a, a, a shape. Um, I need something to turn that akara. Uh, okay, my spoon is right there. Okay then, so, all right, while the akara is frying, I can look at some of our questions and comments and sort of, Sister Denise, good morning, I hope next time I visit your house, I'm going to ask you for akara and you have to know how to make it, okay? Okay. Sister Sharon, I see you. So this is your first time seeing how to make akara. And Taiwo, I see you too. Uh, it's akara now. Yeah, most certainly it's akara now. And since you are a bachelor, you need to learn how to make akara. Uh, Sister Miriam, good morning. How are you doing? Yes, Sister Debo, it's akara for breakfast today. And if you are watching us, Sister April, good morning. God bless you real good. Now, this is, even though it's African, it's from, um, it's from uh, the western, well, it's from the western part of Nigeria, but it's really, really good. It's, I love it. It's nice. It's light. You can have it for breakfast. You can also, you don't want to talk too close to the food you are cooking because other people will eat it. So you don't want your stuff in their food. Now, so if you have enough oil, it comes out nice and um, you want to fry it, you don't want too much heat once it begins to uh, brown, get brown, because you want it to cook all the way to the inside. So you lower the heat a little, you lower the heat a little um, so that it can cook. But it's a very nice meal, very light meal. You can eat it for dinner, you can eat it for breakfast. It's a meal you can eat and after a few hours you just go to bed. Highly nutritious. So um, that's Akara for today. In a few minutes, it's going to be done. Um, and then you will see what it looks like. Okay. So while we are doing that, um, I know our time is nearly up. And you can see I've, I've done this in um, less than 15 minutes. In another three, four minutes, this Akara will be done. So it's a quick meal that you can uh, make for yourself. And it's, kind of, it's also a meal that you can snack on. If you want to snack on it, you can make it as big as I have made it, or you can just do little droplets, uh, little droplets like that. I'll, I'll try it. I hope it doesn't mess what I'm already doing. Ooh, I made a little mess there. Okay, then. I hate it when my kitchen is messy. All right. Okay. So in a, in a little while, you'll have your akara snack. But then the, the actual meal is going to be ready in another few minutes. So it's a nice meal and you may wonder, what, what do I eat it with? Well, you can eat akara all by itself. 
You can eat it with um, 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 what we call ogi or akabo. Uh, this is the thick or eko. It's made from corn meal. This is the um, this is the farm version of the eko. You can make it watery and put sugar and ho or honey or lemon, you know, in it and and um, and drink it. It's like a cereal. Or you could use oat meal. You could actually eat it along with oat meal. Um, and you can just eat it all by itself. Um, and then um, for those of us who went to secondary school in those days, uh, we used to love putting the akara in between um, and make a, an, akara hambo, a, an akara burger. You put it in between um, uh, uh, slices of bread and you eat it, it's delicious. So you can actually have akara burger, especially these days when we are all uh, conscious about what we eat because that's a really healthy uh, meal, you are not eating um, too much meat. And when you do your akaraboga, use um, some nice wheat uh, bread or some other bread, not bleached wheat. Um, okay then. So in the last few days, we have talked about various things going on. Um, and even though we are having fun this morning, I really don't want us to forget the people who are going through things. So we are going to still have a word of prayer you know, um, and remember all these people. Um, let me see. Any questions? Any questions? For those of you watching us from all around the world, uh, Akara is an excellent meal. Every, every, um, every, nearly every country in the world has uh, some form of beans. So it's a meal that you can actually prepare any part of the world. All over the world there we have onions. So you can so once you have your onion, once you have your um, your onion, you have your beans, um, and then um, if you like you can put egg. All over the world there is egg. Now my akara is very, very nearly done. Very, very nearly done. And uh, do I have bread in the house? I'm not usually a bread eater. Let me show you how to make an akara burger. Do we have, uh, uh, okay. Just put the akara in between um, two slices of bread and you'll have an akara burger. Ah, my akara is looking good. Looking delicious. Looking really, really good. All right then, it's nice and golden brown. It's all done. You can see it. I like it when it's nicely formed like that. I didn't really get it this morning, but I'll show you one that I really like. Yeah. When it's nice and round like that smooth, I love it. I don't like my akara looking all tacky without any shape all over the place. All right then. Okay. So we can turn this off now. And akara is ready. I'm putting it on... Um, on uh, paper towels to absorb the excess oil. Now, these are the little ones I made last that I said you can just snack on. Yeah, you can make them really small and your little ones can just, you know, when they want something to snack on, this is a healthy, it's, a, it, it's a something healthy that they can snack on. Um, I don't like too much oil, so you can just dab it a little so that, so here we are. Akara, nice and good. Um, I thought my husband would come because he loves Akara. He wakes me up in the middle of the night and says, are you going to make Akara in the morning? I'm like, okay. So here we go. Akara is really, it's, it's ready to go. Mm. Okay, Kisha, Akara is a different dish and it's yummy too. I, I can see you, I see that, <laughs> I can see you wanting to eat my Akara. Well, the good thing is I'm eating my Akara all by myself this morning. I'm not sharing with any of you online. All right then. Okay, I hope we had some fun together. And what I had on today is courtesy of my, um, of my classmates at, in St. Anne's. The last time I went uh, to Nigeria, we had an old girls meeting, my classmates, and somebody gave all of us some material, and I made mine into this nice uh, Yoruba, Iru and Buba attire. Hey, so, I hope you've enjoyed your time with me. Oh, so they finally got me some bread. And we are going to have our akara burger. So here you are, your bread. 
you put the akara in between and there you go nice simple you have your akara burger very simple meal to prepare on a serious note now i want us to stand in the gap for those who are in new york i want us to pray we want to bend that color they tell us that it's going up and up and up that uh, it hasn't yet hit the top of that curve, but we want to bend that curve and we want to bend it downwards. I know the projections for the next one week is horrible, but the Lord said if we stand in the gap, he says he will hear. He says he's looking for somebody to stand in the gap. Please, wherever you are as family members, rise up on your feet, hold each other and let us intercede, especially for New York. The pictures are horrible. And we know that, you know, it's, it's our first trouble spot in, in the U.S. But if we as Christians can arrest that and bend that curve, we will be able to do it for the rest of the nation. So let's just go ahead and ask the Lord. Lord, please help us in New York. Send help to them, O oh God. Send angelic help to them, Father. Lord said we deploy angels all over New York. We will not have dead bodies in the streets in New York. Let's pray especially for Elmhurst Hospital because that was the first trouble spot. Let's pray that God will send angels into that place. There will be miraculous healings. People will come into that place sick. Miraculously, they will be made whole. All our hospitals all over that people will walk in sick. Miraculous. We need divine healing right now. We need miracles right now. Father, please send help. Send help. Deploy angels to work with the doctors, to work with the nurses, all those who are working in hospitals. Lord, strengthen them. Strengthen them, oh Lord our God, please. Strengthen them, encourage them. Lord, give them supernatural courage to continue. Father, please hear our cry. We pray especially for Elmhurst. I want you to also pray for your county, your township, your city. Lord, I'm lifting up Philadelphia to you. I'm lifting up Wilmington to you. I'm lifting up Burlington to you. I'm lifting up Willingboro to you. I'm lifting up Silclaville to you. I'm lifting up Plymouth Meeting to you. I'm lift Father, Lord, we just lift up all our towns. Go ahead and mention the city in which you live. Father, Lord, we bend this curve in the name of Jesus. We stand as your children and we are asking you father for our sake bend this curve oh god of heaven let this exponential increases in this coronavirus infections begin to go down in the name of jesus we ask for a supernatural intervention father you say you will hear us when we call on you and we believe you hear our prayers father thank you thank you for hearing us father thank you because we are privileged to be your children your love children, you love us. And when we ask you, Lord God, you hear and you answer. Father, we are grateful. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. It's been a wonderful time with you this morning. I tell you, when we are going to start this Akara, I said, ah, we won't be able to pull this off today. That was at 8.30. One of my young ladies in the house said, Pastor, when it's you, miracles happen. I said, a big amen. And here we are, we have a miracle, we had our akara done in 15 minutes. So have a wonderful weekend. See you tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. during service and again on Monday morning at 9 a.m. for reflections. The Lord bless you and it's been wonderful having you in my kitchen. Now I have to do all the cleaning up. But the good thing is also I'm doing all my eating with my family. I'm not sharing with you. All right, then love you all. Have a wonderful day and God bless you.